The Cuban Missile Crisis, October 16, 1962 to November 20th, 1962. 35-day long crisis. The Cuban Missile Crisis was a confrontation between the United States and the Soviet Union. The Cuban Missile Crisis was also known by several other names. It was called the October Crisis of 1962 in Spanish. It was called Missile Scare by Russia and it was also called the Caribbean Crisis. After seizing power in the Caribbean island nation of Cuba in 1959, Fidel Castro aligned himself with the Soviet Union. Under Castro, Cuba grew dependent on the Soviets for military and economic aid. Major Richard Heiser made a high altitude pass over Cuba on October 14, 1962. He photographed a Soviet SS-4 medium-range ballistic missile being assembled for installation. The situation was urgent due to the fact that the nuclear-armed Cuban missiles were being installed so close to the U.S. mainland. They were just 90 miles south of Florida. The Soviets were uneasy about the number of nuclear weapons that were targeted at them from sites in Western Europe and Turkey. They saw the deployment of missiles in Cuba as a way to protect themselves and Cuba. President John F. Kennedy convened a meeting of the nine members of the National Security Council and five other key advisors in a group that became known as the Executive Committee of the National Security Council, or EXCOM. In order to avoid a declaration of war, Kennedy ordered a naval quarantine on October 22, 1962. The goal was to prevent further missiles from reaching Cuba. By using the term quarantine rather than blockade, the United States was able to avoid starting a war. The U.S. ships blocked the Soviet ships from delivering weapons. The Soviet ships did not cross the U.S. line of ships. Negotiations between Kennedy and Khrushchev began. After several days of negotiations, an agreement was reached between Kennedy and Khrushchev the Soviets would dismantle their offensive weapons in Cuba and return them to the Soviet Union in exchange for a U.S. agreement to not invade Cuba again and to dismantle their weapons in Turkey. This happened on November 2, 1962. When all offensive missiles and the light bombers had been withdrawn from Cuba, the quarantine was formally ended on November 20, 1962.